Jason, a massive congratulations of place in the playoffs confirmed after that victory. It was a, a frantic 90 minutes and it's never dull following Spennymoor, is it? It's never dull managing Spennymoor. Uh, we don't make things easy for ourselves. I thought they started far brighter than us and, and you know, I said at half time, we could have possibly been two or three down. Uh, we didn't get out, out the blocks at all, uh, but we dug in, you know, dug in and, and we've scored a great set play again, uh, which are massively important in this in any football, but this league as well, you know, you always score, you know, it's great to score set plays and, and it was a good movement, great ball in and a great header. And, and you know, we were comfortable seeing the game out, we got better as the game went on, as, as the first half went on. But he scored, I mean, that's why we brought Alex in on low. You know, we know he's capable of. He scored an absolute worldy uh, out of nothing, really. For 30 yards, half volley, you know, you can't do nothing about that. But we showed great, great character again. Um, you know, many teams would have folded. Um, and, we, and we've got a great finish. Um, we had a couple of little bits and bobs in the, in the middle of the, uh, the six yard box, and, and it bounced to Scotty, and he's half volley, fantastic finish. Um, and then again, like you say, we, we were comfortable in the second half, a lot more comfortable, I thought, in the second half than we were in the first half. Um, and then again, we've we, you know we've we've gifted a goal. Um, you know, we, Gildy hasn't you know he, he's got under the ball and the lads headed it in. And again, you know, we've showed immense character, and, and, and you know, it's it's ironic that Ryan, who who couldn't start because he was late, you know, he was stuck in traffic, and, and we had to have the team in by by quarter two. Um, came on and scored the winner. Um, he scored last year here, and he, and he scored a great goal today, and it was a great move. And we've dug in, you know. We've had a, we've had a horrendous injury with James, um, who's at the moment seeing the doctor. And but Thax has come in and, and, and dug in, you know. Not, I've not played for a long time. Um, he came in alongside Scotty, who's not played for a long time, and, and, and they've done ever so well. So, you know, I'm just immensely proud of the players because you know our goal at, in the end of June when we started pre-season was to was to go one better than last year. You know we've managed to do that, and, and uh, at such a such a great ground like this, such a big crowd, and, and what a fantastic away following. You know, nearly 500 fans. Um, you know, I remember the days when we were getting 100 at home games to to to, to, uh, to have 500 here supporting the players, and and to see us uh, make a piece of history, really. And, and and that's what we've done. We've made a piece of history for the club again. Um, you know, and, and not many teams will do the double over York in, in one season, which we've done. And in terms of the playoffs, do you think we've maybe put the bed the demons of last season? Obviously, we just missed out on, on the final day. And I mean, looking ahead now, is it a case of going for third place? I mean, Brackley currently occupy that, but if we can manage to sneak into the, in the third, then it's it's a difference between playing a knockout game and not playing one. Well, I think the first the, the first objective was to get in there, wasn't it? You know, that was that was the main thing. And we had a horrific march, um, and we've bounced back with three wins out of out of four. And it'll be a horrendous performance away at Ashton, which, like I said, you know, and I reminded the players of that before the game. You know, the fans and, and the team and the management and, and, and the chairman will, will, will back us to the hilt. You know, if we put a, put, put a shift in um, and win, lose a draw today for the put a shift in, that would have been the case. But you know, we, we let ourselves down that day and we, we bounced back with two two massive results against Brackley in York City. Um, you know, so we've won th three out of four, and, and it puts you back in, in in the mix, and that's what you've got to do in this league. You've just got to. You've got to grind results out, even when you're not playing well, and, and, and over the season you, you finish where you deserve to finish. And in terms of uh, Mark Anderson, who went off injured early in the game, is that looking like he might be out for the playoffs, or do you not really know at this time? And, and Andrew Johnson as well, I noticed he hasn't played the f past few games. Is he out for the remainder of the season? Yeah, we've had a horrific um, injury list lately. I mean, poor, poor AJ, he came back, got back in the team, he played 20 minutes and was the bright spark of the Ashton game. Um, and then the last kick in the training on, on Thursday, he's, he's uh, torn his adductor, uh, so he's going to be out for three months, you know, which is devastating news for uh, not only the club, because he's a top player, but for, for him himself. Um, and he's after going to get himself back, hopefully, ready for, for, for pre-season. And then Sparky, who's worked ever so hard again to get himself back, um, he felt a slight twinge. Uh, I don't think it's as serious as is the last time but I'm no physio so he'll know better than that you know we've got the best physio in the league I believe and, and, and he'll treat him as, as needs to be but it, it was another massive loss you know what I mean because he's he's a game changer and he's a, he's a match winner and, and but like the, the subs who came on you know again had a massive impact, impact on the game that's all you can ask for them